Well, good morning there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Hello Games, No Man's Sky, and updates for 2023. And this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode, so we're just going to chillax, chillax, people in the Viewerverse, and we're going to be taking in some of the stuff that I have to say today. So let's jump on over onto the old Tinter web, shall we? Chickabow! There I am on the tinter webs. I know it's like magic, isn't it? <laughs> so we're on the Hello Games LinkedIn page, people. LinkedIn. Why are we on the LinkedIn page? Because this is where they put up job advertisements or give hints whether they're growing their team, which is always a good sign of growth. So anyway, as you know, there's been some layoffs inside of the Bungie sort of field and other games development parties as of late. And they've just sort of said, you know, get in contact, get in contact. So they're hoping to grow their team. Now, considering that Destiny is more of a live services game, I'm hoping that they're hoping. I'm hoping that they're hoping. <laughs> there's a lot of hope to perhaps pick up maybe some live services engineers, multiplayer sort of enhancements, but only one can speculate, people. Yeah, but anyways, there's that. Yeah, anyway, moving on down. So they talk about how often they pump out updates. This is our 25th major No Man's Sky update. Echoes was just pushed live. Just look at the length of these patch notes. And it goes over to the patch notes page. Lovely jubbly. And all that sort of shenanigans. Anyway, just that sort of scooting down a little. We can see here in seven years that the game is still doing well. Now, Sean Murray in the past has actually said, we will continue making updates for No Man's Sky as long as there's interest and people playing it. Well, it's still in the top sellers seven years on in. So I hope that means more updates. Heck yes, awesome. And when you look at their company, house um page which i've done a whole video on company house which is all their financial details growth and all that sort of stuff if you haven't seen that video it's a good video go hit it up anyway don't post too often they say it become white noise they say well if hello games team slowed down a bit on these updates barely a week after the launch of no man's sky on mac we launch our 10th expedition singularity they haven't actually put up any post for the 11th one and there's no hint of a 12th this year as yet. But if they go seasonally, that's four per year each season. Expeditions have been a seasonal thing so far. We're running out of season for this year. We've only got November and then it's December time. They've never released anything in December in the past that I know of. So I'm really hoping that something might drop in November of this year from the Hello Games studio. And there is another reason why I think that might be is if we carry on down here i mean there's the mac release but if we carry on down and a little bit more we've got it right here people black and white clear as crystal thank you guys. attention to all qa testers a near infinite universe across pc xbox playstation switch and vr takes a fair bit of testing especially with another massive update dropping every six to eight weeks and it says massive massive update this isn't my words this isn't me saying this. This is Hello Games. Yes, and it probably would have been sanctioned and signed off on by the Murray himself. Every six to eight weeks is when they've actually put out that they will be putting out some kind of update. So, you know, when content creators are saying, well, there should be an update around now, it's because they're using this LinkedIn post. It came from the horse's mouth, people. So, yeah, hopefully... Uh, I mean, it's overdue now, but hopefully we'll be able to see some sort of update coming fairly soon. Now, over on Twitter Watch, if you're not on the Twitter or X, whatever they're calling it this week, here we go. This is Sean Murray's page on the Twitterverse, known as X. Yes, I don't know what we're supposed to call tweets now. Are we just supposed to call them Xs? I don't know. I've had a few X's in my time. Rather not cast my memory on that. It's a little bit of a, a weird thing. Anyway, let's scroll on down. Now, Sean of the Murrays put this out, which I think is quite cool. So he says here, Chinese fan art is a next level. Now, there's two images here that are very reminiscent of the Atlas becoming a being. 
just looks like some sort of Atlas of being. I don't know whether this is a player model or whether it's an in-game character that we're going to come across, but it looks like the Atlas birthed into a reality as a traveller or an anomaly of some kind. Freaking love the boots. I love the look. I love these little shoulder pads. It has a very military-esque type vibe to it, though, doesn't it? Very cool. But not only that, they've done one for the Void Mother. And look, it's got one of the life rafts as a head. But it also envisaged this giant Void Prime getting ripped to sunder and perhaps coming Corvax Prime or, or Void Prime as we, we know it now. Pretty nice. I really like this one of the Void Mother. I never thought of her as being... Well, I did think that they could put her in as an entity, but I was thinking some sort of boss weird creature. Very non-human-esque. But yeah, that, that kind of looks pretty darn sweet. Again, could be a player model, could be something that we encounter, a boss fight of some kind. Yeah, pretty darn freaking snazzy and I like that. Yeah. And then there's the interactions with the auto page. Plug in, you might get a purple line go to yourself, maybe get, you know, a link to the Void Mother. Or link and you become red, a link to the Echo, to the Crimson, you know. So there we go up there, yeah. Interesting stuff. Love it, really do. It conjures up the thoughts, it conjures up the imagination of where this ARG and law may go, people on the side of No Man's Sky. I'm not too sure what this last one is actually denoting right here. I don't know what that image is, but maybe it's speculation for a future update. I don't know, I can't read Chinese. Lovely cup of tea, that. That's my own brew, people, yes? I do my own brew of tea. I say I. It's actually a collaboration through a site called Cherizina. They make beautiful teas. Check out my About tab on side of YouTube, and there's links there to buy your own tea, the same as mine, along with this mug if you want a lovely mug. Yes, isn't it a lovely mug? It is a lovely mug with my mug on it. Yes, 07 Brew is the name of my tea. It's got oaky notes to it, people. It's freaking lovely. Anyway, scrolling down, because Sean Murray's been a busy little bee. I mean, you can see here, this was 20 hours ago. This one was 22 hours ago, and it shows like a 3D printed traveller helmet. Freaking great. And then 22 hours ago, he put out this one as well, which had an emoji tied to it, okay? So whenever I pick up my phone and it says that there's been a new tweet by Sean Murray, it doesn't show what he's freaking retweeted. It just shows what he's put in there. So I saw that and I was thinking, is it Endurance Level 2? Are we getting another Endurance or Polestar-like update? And I thought it might have been an update emoji. He's also put out this, a love heart emoji, which some people, Professor Cynical has done a whole video thinking that we might be getting a new update and the emoji might be a heart and it might be just adding love and polish to all of the current updates that we've had to date. Maybe like a synthesis type update is where he speculates. He thinks that that might be the emoji of this year. Yeah, could be, maybe. I'm saying no. Normally, Sean Murray won't put the, the um, emoji inside of a retweet. It would just be a singular tweet with a singular emoji. Boom. That's your emoji. Go. So we had a little laughing emoji, which was fine. But the same retweet, exactly the same tweet, but this time with the Murrays. And he chose to use the ghost. Now, as you know, all these echo camps have got like echoes of the past, ghosts or remnants of the past that you can only see with a certain bit of tech that brings them into iteration and into our realm. Some people have said that maybe the next update will be called Spectre and it would sort of attach onto and bring that into the fold. In fact, if I hit on up the comments on here, you're probably going, oh, I, I would hit up the comments on there. There we go. Yes, I want to see the replies, please. Not just my reply. I want to see everybody's reply. But yeah, I put, so nearly had a heart attack. Thought this emoji was the update hint. I really did. This was the one that got my heart a racing, people. But I know that somebody else chimed in here to say, is this the Spectre update we speculated on? Yeah, I think it was... Um, is it Ray Reynolds? Not too sure. But yeah, the ghost emoji. So a lot of people thought that this might have been it, you know? You know, hyperventilating into bags and all sorts of stuff going on. So, you know, who knows, people? Who knows? Well, it did set the community off to a little bit of a flutter, people. Now, Sean Murray knows what he's doing. 
you know, he knows that a singular tweet emoji gets the fan base riled and stirred. And going by this actual, you know, LinkedIn post of six to eight weeks, he probably also knows that we're probably waited on bated breath for the next expedition or update based on the schedule that normally happens. So I think he's just been playing with us with these last few tweets that are all been singular emojis just to get our sort of, you know, going, oh my God, it's the emoji. Oh, no, it's not. Oh my God, it's the emoji. Oh, no, it's not. Oh my God. He done it three freaking times. Three times in the last 24 hours. So by that measure, I think probably we might be waiting maybe 48 to, I don't know, 56 hours or something. I don't know, three days. I think maybe in the next three days, we might get the actual bona fide day emoji from the Sean and the Murrays. I think he's playing with us in a roundabout way. I think he's just having a bit of fun. And I think we might see the emoji sometime this week and maybe see the uh, the update probably next week. And the reason I'm thinking that is we had a sale in October across all platforms, half price for No Man's Sky. Now, a lot of outlets, and I've had people put up comments to say, normally after a sale of a half price sale, there's usually a 30 day lull in between before another one will drop, mainly because you get the 30 days return law thing off the back of a sale if you bought something you didn't like it you can return it i don't know but anyways there's that so people are thinking maybe 30 days after the previous sale we get another sale yeah some even went as far to say that some of the platforms like steam or whatever don't let you run consecutive sales on things once a sale ends you've got to wait the 30 days i looked into that and I couldn't find anything on Steam about that or any of the other platforms that there's any sort of law that restricts you from placing sales. I mean, there might be in some other country, but I even hit up Bing AI and asked Bing AI and they said, no, it's not a thing. So I don't know whether it is or isn't a thing. Anyway, people, that's pretty much all I've got for you on this. All I'm saying is we're overdue an update. We normally get four expeditions in a year because they're seasonal. We've only had three so far this year. Could it be that they might not do the Reduxes this year? Which I think would be a bit weird, considering that it's just dropped on Mac, like after Expedition, what, I don't know, 9 or 8 or something. Anyway, they haven't had all the Reduxes. They haven't had the ability to run on any of these. The only way I think that we might not have the Reduxes this year over the festive period, if they drop the next Expedition, say in November, but also a small update that gives us the ability to rerun the expeditions whenever we want. Redux anytime. That might explain it, people. I'm just putting that idea out there. Obviously, don't set it as expectation. It's speculation. I know it's dangerous, but that's the only logical thing I can come up with, people. Anyway, I'm going to go finish my tea. Why you ponder on that? Sound off in the comments. Let us know if you think I'm on to something, people inside of the viewerverse. Yes. And if you haven't already hit those buttons, you like the subscribe, the notification bell, or if you have. Yeah, if you haven't, hit them, obviously. <laughs> Guess what I'm saying. And if you have already, share this video. Share it. Put it on social media. Get some debate happening on the Twitters, on the on the um, Facebooks. It, can you do it on Instagram? Man, give it a go. Yeah, any of the social medias you like the most, put it on there. Oh, that is a good cup of tea. Anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.